Hi everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets, and today I'm here with a tutorial about how to make Lightroom your very own. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen or noticed, but sometimes you'll see people using Photoshop, and the, instead of having the Lightroom logo over here in the left, and it's saying Lightroom 5 or Lightroom 4, whatever version they're using, it actually says either their name or shows a logo or or something like that. So today I wanted to show you how to do that. This isn't just for photographers who are super established. Anyone can do this in Lightroom. So the first thing that you need to do is to know how to change your identity plate because this is an identity plate up here in the upper left hand corner. So on a Mac you're going to go up to the Lightroom mem menu and you're going to choose identity plate setup. Now if you are on a PC, you're going to go to the Edit menu and choose Identity Plate Setup from there as well. Okay, so then you're going to get this little editor thing that's going to open. And if it's not already selected, I'm going to choose Personalized. Okay, and when I choose Personalized, I'm going to get these options that come up. Okay. Now I've done this, I reset it so that I could do it for you. So I do have some things here that are changed, but we're going to start from the beginning. And the first thing, you have the option to choose between either doing a text identity plate or a graphic identity plate. We're going to start by playing around with doing a styled text identity plate. So I'm going to click on that little dot there. I'm going to put my cur cursor on this black here and I'm going to type pretty presets. Okay. Now um, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to open this up and I have almost every font that's on my computer right now to choose from. So I'm going to choose, I'll choose this one. This is a big fat one. And I'm going to make the size much bigger. Let's see. I'm going to go even bigger than that. Let's go 36. Um, if you go too big, you'll notice, oh, it gets cut off, okay? So I've found that somewhere around 36 is about right, typically, okay? So right now it's showing up gray, so I can come over here and I can change the colors. Um, if I click down here, they're all set to white, so that will change it to white. If you want to do a custom color, though, Let's come over here, let's select part of our text, and we're going to do part of it a custom color. I'm going to click on these buttons over here. You have to know the RGB values of the color you want to use. You're going to choose RGB from the drop-down menu. It may be on grayscale set normally. Um, I've changed it to RGB. And then I'm going to come over here and type in the RGB values. So I happen to know that this one is 65, tab 189, and 190. Okay, and I'm going to close that out. So now, just like that, by a few clicks, I personalized what I want it to look like. Now, if you want to personalize the other text over here, you can do that as well. You can choose your fonts, you can choose the size, you can choose the color, you can choose the highlight color and the, the regular color that, that they'll show. And then um, once you've done this, you'll probably want to save what you've done. So we're going to come over here and choose from the drop down menu, choose save as, and I'm going to save this as pretty presets underscore and click save. So now um, anytime I want to use that identity plate it's there um, for me to use. And you can use identity plates in various places in Lightroom. So I'm going to click OK. Now let's say I wanted to do a graphic identity plate. I'm going to follow those same steps. I'm going to choose, instead of styled text identity plate, I'm going to choose a graphical identity plate. And 
I'm going to, to click there and then I need to locate a file. Now before I do this, um, there are a few things that you need to know. You need to have your logo in a PNG format um, with a transparent background. Otherwise it will look a little bit funny. And you'll probably get that from your graphic designer, whoever has designed your logo, or if you've designed it yourself, know that that's a format that you need to have your um, logo in in order to put it in Lightroom. And um, you need to make sure that it's no taller than 52 pixels. So let's just pop over to Photoshop really quick. I'm going to open up a logo. It's going to already pull up, but you navigate to where it is. I'm going to open up this one. This is a white version of the Pretty Presets logo. I'm going to come up here to Image, and I'm going to choose Image Size. And then I'm going to come over here and make the height be, just to be safe, I'm going to make it 50. Um, I've heard 57. I think it gets cut off at 57. 50 to 52 is typically what seems to work. I'm going to click on OK, and I'm going to save as, and I'm going to save it with Lightroom on the end so that I know that this is a tiny one. I've already done this, so I'm just going to replace that. Now I'm going to pop back over to Lightroom, and I'm going to locate that file that I just saved. And I'm going to click Choose. And now that logo has popped up over here in the corner, um, and it's now mine. You can do the exact same thing that you have saved that you did before. From custom, choose save as. Save this as pretty presets logo white and click save. And you're done. So that's how to customize your Lightroom experience and make Lightroom your very own with your very favorite colors and logos. Hope this is a little bit of fun for you in Lightroom.